Welcome to day three of the Persuasion Book Club. Today, my prop for you is a Band-Aid because I want to talk about two examples, uh, two techniques to increase compliance, patient compliance in a healthcare setting. We are not medical people, so this is the only medical prop in my house. Here's a cold hard truth. For many people, it's a miracle to get them to go see a doctor. And for those who do go, they often don't follow the doctor's orders for good reasons and for bad reasons. I've been one of those people. I think a lot of us have been that person, that patient who doesn't go to the doctor, or who doesn't comply. So here's the first study I wanna talk about. A group of Dutch researchers, they worked with a group of patients who were at high risk for hypoglycemia, also known as chronic low blood sugar. And this condition can cause a lot of consequences such as organ failure, depression, convulsions. And I think it's natural for people to have a, a typical human response is you get a sense of denial or helplessness. You start to feel like, okay, I just can't do anything about this anyway, or uh, maybe it won't affect me as badly as it affects other people. And what this team found was once they give this alarming news to a patient, um, maybe their belief in that moment might be helplessness or denial, but they can change the patient's belief to feel that, you know what, there is a way that I can uh, make sure I have a favorable impact on my risk of this disease. The researchers found that they could do that if in the moment after sharing that alarming news, they say, here is a workshop happening very soon that you can sign up for that will tell you exactly what you can do so that you can avoid this disease and reduce your chances of getting this disease. And what they found was that patients were four times more likely to sign up for this class if they were told about it in that same appointment after learning about their risk for this disease. So this works if you, if as a healthcare provider, you're clear about the consequences of the condition and then you offer a clear way to manage it. Otherwise, what people do is they find their own ways to manage the anxiety about the disease possibility um, through what I said earlier, denial, hopelessness, but you can change that belief into the belief that there is something I can do and here's a clear path through this workshop that's happening soon. So you don't have that feeling of, I have to figure this out on my own and you get overwhelmed and you give up. It's more like, no, all you do is one step, sign up for this class and worry about the rest at the class. So that's one study. And then there's a, this reminded me of another study that was done. I don't know where I read this. I'll have to look it up. It was in some other book. But another challenge that healthcare practitioners face is if you own a practice, you are getting a lot of your revenues off of patients who come to their appointments. But as a patient, our mindsets might be, ah, I'm gonna cancel, I'm gonna reschedule, oh, I forgot that that was my appointment date, which causes uh, a problem for, for healthcare practices who lose uh, revenues for that day. So what this study found was when you are making an appointment for a patient, they are more likely to attend that appointment if you give them that appointment card and you ask them to write the date on that card. Typically what you see people do at a, a medical office desk is the, the uh, office person will write the date and give it to the patient. But if they give that card to the patient and say, oh, go ahead and write that date for whatever reason, their compliance of actually coming on that date, remembering that date increases because it's almost like they're mentally committing to the date because they're saying, I'm, I'm agreeing to this. I'm, I'm giving my word because I'm writing this date down um, and it becomes more real. And that's probably the reason that people are more likely to come. So that was another study that was done. So two ways to increase compliance in the healthcare setting, your timing of when you give bad news and you come in and you say, here's a clear way, um, here's a clear way to manage your anxiety, to manage the possibility of this disease. Then the other thing with the appointments, ask your patient to write the appointment date on. I'm not a professional. These are fun things that I'm reading that are really interesting. Um, if you've read the book, leave a comment.